Did you know that the way you care for your cannabis seedlings can determine the entire health of your plant? These tiny green shoots may look delicate, but they're laying the foundation for your future harvest. Stick around as we dive into everything you need to know to raise strong, healthy cannabis seedlings. In this video, we'll guide you through the crucial seedling stage of cannabis cultivation. From creating the perfect environment and watering techniques to preventing common issues, we'll cover everything you need to know to give your seedlings the best start possible. By the end, you'll have the knowledge to grow vibrant, resilient seedlings that will thrive in their next stage of growth. Let's get into it. After germination, your cannabis plant enters the seedling stage, the first true step toward maturity. During the stage, the plant is still delicate and vulnerable, but it's also developing the roots and leaves that will support its growth in the coming weeks. Cannabis seedlings develop their first true leaves, which are the signature serrated leaves we associate with cannabis. These leaves play a critical role in photosynthesis, helping the plant convert light into energy for further growth. The taproot continues to grow, branching out into a network of roots that anchor the plant and absorb nutrients. It's crucial to keep your seedlings in an environment that's warm and humid, around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 26 degrees Celsius, with a humidity level between 60 and 70%. This mimics the conditions of early spring, helping your young plants thrive. One grower I spoke with shared that they had trouble with stunted seedlings until they started using a humidity dome. With the added moisture, their plants shot up within a week. What methods have you found work best for keeping your seedlings healthy? Let us know in the comments. Watering seedlings can be tricky. They're sensitive to both overwatering and underwatering. Let's break down the best techniques for keeping your seedlings hydrated. The roots of cannabis seedlings are still small, so they don't need a lot of water to stay hydrated. Overwatering can quickly lead to problems like damping off, a fungal condition that causes the stems to rot and collapse. Instead, try misting the soil around your seedlings with a spray bottle. This keeps the top layer of soil moist without saturating the deeper layers. You can also use a small pipette or syringe to deliver water directly to the base of the seedling. Water gently around the edges of the pot to encourage the roots to spread out. This helps the seedling develop a stronger root system as it searches for moisture. Watch out for drooping leaves. It can indicate both overwatering and underwatering, depending on the context. If the soil feels soggy, cut back on water. If it's dry, increase watering frequency. A friend of mine struggled with yellow seedlings until they adjusted their watering routine. They started letting the soil dry out a bit between waterings, and soon, those pale leaves turned a healthy shade of green. How do you ensure your seedlings get the right amount of water? Share your tips with the community. Light is one of the most important factors in a seedling's growth. It provides the energy they need to develop strong roots and sturdy stems. During the seedling stage, cannabis plants need about 18 hours of light per day, with six hours of darkness. This mimics the long days of early spring and encourages rapid growth. Using LED grow lights is a great choice. They're energy efficient and can provide the full spectrum of light your seedlings need. Place your lights about 24 to 36 inches above the seedlings, adjusting the distance as they grow. If the light is too close, you risk burning the tender leaves. If it's too far, your seedlings will stretch, becoming tall and spindly. If you notice leggy seedlings, plants that are stretching out and leaning, it's a sign they're not getting enough light. Move your light closer or increase the light intensity to keep them compact. One grower found that seedlings were leaning dramatically to one side. After adjusting the position of their grow light and adding a reflective surface, the plants quickly straightened up and thickened. What type of grow lights do you use for your seedlings? Have you experimented with different setups? Share your experiences. Even with the best care, seedlings can encounter problems. Let's go over some common issues and how to address them before they get out of hand. Number one, damping off. This fungal disease causes the stems to become thin and weak, eventually collapsing. To prevent this, avoid overwatering and ensure good air circulation. Using a fan can help strengthen stems and reduce the risk of mold. Number two, nutrient burn. Seedlings don't need a lot of nutrients at this stage. If you see yellow or brown leaf tips, it might be nutrient burn. Flush the soil with plain water and hold off on fertilizers until the plant is more mature. Number three, temperature fluctuations. Seedlings are sensitive to temperature swings. Keep the grow space consistent, ideally between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 26 degrees Celsius. Using a heat mat can be helpful in cooler environments. 
Number four, slow growth. If your seedlings seem stuck, they may be dealing with root problems or inadequate lighting. Check that the roots aren't bound by the container and consider repotting if necessary. What challenges have you faced during the seedling stage and how did you overcome them? Let's help each other grow stronger plants. In this video, we covered everything you need to know about cannabis seedlings, how to create the perfect environment, water them correctly, provide the right light, and avoid common pitfalls. By mastering these basics, you'll set up your plants for success in the vegetative stage. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more cannabis cultivation guidelines, and drop any questions or experiences in the comments. We love learning from fellow growers.